So this is Five Minutes with Gavin Gordon-Rogers. Hi Gavin. Hello. Can you give us a quick summary of your career to date? Yep. Uh, it's kind of been a mixture of chaos and serendipity, I think. Uh, my career with Gems, who's my creative partner um, and wife. Uh, we started off making music videos. I graduated from Edinburgh College of Art, studied film and TV. Uh, my graduation film got nominated for a BAFTA in Scotland, BAFTA Scotland. Um, what year was this, roughly? 96, I think. Okay. Um, so that was a good start, a lucky start. And uh, after that went into, well, my course was basically the sort of course where they just let you get on with stuff. They don't prepare you for the real world in any way whatsoever. So I came out and I was like, right, now I'm a director. What do I do? <laughs> you know, where, where are the movies that, that, that I'm uh, going to direct? Um, so got into making music videos because uh, I've always really loved music and uh, did that for a few years. Um, moved down to London in about 2000. Um, and throughout that period, um, we started freelancing in traditional advertising agencies. Um, is this you and Gemma together at this yeah, point? Yeah, both okay. of us, yeah. Because basically music videos is, is brilliant, fun, very creative, allows you to experiment, allows you to express ideas and try stuff, but it's no way to really make a living. It's kind of, it pays peanuts, and these days it's even far worse. Back then it was bad enough. Um, so people really just do it for the love of it. Um, and yes, yeah, so we started freelancing, and then the, the ad work kind of was essentially paying the bills. Um, so we kind of do it, started doing more and more of it. Uh, we got into a really brilliant place at the time called Circus Communications, uh, which was a very forward-thinking agency um, set up by Tim Ashton and uh, David Prudhoe was there as well. Yeah. Um, and we were there for uh, not very long, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, that was our first kind of pr proper job, uh, full-time role, I should say. Um, and then, yeah, things kind of carried on from there. We worked at places like Karmarama, which was brilliant, with Dave and Narish. Um, good experience there. And then um, Seb Royce at Glue, London at the time, now called Glue Isobar, um, kind of hunted us down for the second time. And him and Mark Cridge persuaded us to join Glue, which... Uh, back then, I think that was like early 2002 or something, so there weren't many digital agencies around at, at that time. I mean, it sounds like it's not that long ago, but, you know, it's funny, there, there really weren't many ten, digital ten agencies. Ten years ago. Yeah. Um, so it was really early days there, um, and it was a really great little company, independent, um, really good people there. Um, lots of passion and ambition to do really good digital stuff uh, and we that's where we kind of really got into digital um, learning from everyone around us from Seb from Mark um, and stayed there till about 2005 is this far too much detail well way? this is I'm quite long but you've had <laughs> you've had a big long career so far <laughs> anyway then we went to Agency Republic and uh, ended up becoming CDs there and then I ended up becoming the ECD there for a couple of years and recently left, not, not too long ago, to join Widens as Interactive CD and I've just left there a couple of weeks ago. How would you describe the creative industry in three words? Uh, probably a bit bedraggled, um, frustrated, and, but still full of passion. Okay. What advice would you give someone who's looking to get into the industry now? I, what advice? I'd say you've really got to be open-minded about media possibilities. Um, you know, I assume you're talking about creatives specifically. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's it's all about the ideas, right? And you know the best creatives aren't desperate to make a TV ad or a website. The best creatives are desperate to make an amazing idea come to life in whatever media it's in. So there's that. And then 
you know, just hard work and enthusiasm. You've got to be, yeah, genuinely enthusiastic about it. Who, who inspires you creatively? I like that. You cut, I was going to ramble on again. So you just got onto the next question. <laughs> this is my <laughs> interview. <laughs> uh, who inspires me creatively? Was was that the question? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, that's a tricky one um, because I guess. You know, inspiration can come from loads and loads of places. Uh, so David Lynch, for example, uh, sounds a bit of a cliche, but Scorsese. Scorsese was the reason that I dropped out of uni when I was studying geography and left to go to art college, because I thought, he's doing that. I was watching Mean Street, so I was like, I can do that. <laughs> so uh, that was the reason I, I did that. Um, and, you know, people like, um, there's a guy called Kyle MacDonald, who, you know, one red paper clip. Okay. You know that, you know that story about this guy who traded up a red paper clip. He kept swapping and swapping for things and trading objects, and he ended up with a house. Um, and I met him recently at a creative social in uh, Montreal, and uh, he's a brilliant, inspiring character, a lovely bloke. Um, and I guess uh, one of you know one of the greatest things about him and his story is is just his enthusiasm to just get on and do it, you know, stop talking about it, just do it. Um, and he's amazingly inspiring for that reason. What are your interests outside of work? Interests outside of work? Well, I've got two daughters, so that doesn't really allow you much time for any other interests, to be honest. Um, interests outside of work. Uh, this, this is really bad, isn't it? I can't even think of anything. <laughs> uh, I don't know, various, various things. I'm really, I'm really into graphic novels and um, movies, obviously, filmmaking, music videos, um, music. Uh, if you weren't in this creative industry, what do you think you'd be doing? Um, if I wasn't in this creative industry... Well, I was thinking about this recently when I just uh, left Widen, so I was thinking maybe brain surgery. Um, but I'm not sure my hands are quite steady enough for that. So um, I thought, no, no. But ser seriously, probably not that. Probably, uh, I don't know. I'd probably be something pretty boring, like a lawyer or something. What do you look for in good creatives? When people are interviewing with you at any of the agencies you've worked at, what is it that you specifically kind of crave from people? Uh, well, it comes back a bit to the previous question. Um, definitely enthusiasm, you know, genuine enthusiasm and, and passion for what they do. Um, certainly passion for digital is important. Um, and that's just going to be increasingly more and more important for all creatives going forwards. Um, what else? Um, just being bright, intelligent, um, having a sense of humour. Uh, you know, not taking themselves too seriously, not having e big egos. Um, yeah, that's it. Really. What's the biggest risk you've ever taken in your career? The biggest risk? Um, biggest risk? Uh, or are you not a risk taker? No, I mean, I think, yeah, you need to be, you need to, you need to take bold decisions sometimes, definitely. Um, Is there a risk that stands out that's paid off or one that really hasn't paid off and you've completely mashed it up? Biggest risk, that's a tricky one. Uh, a risk that's paid off. I guess, well, one example was, it's going back a few years now, but it's when we were at Republic and we made music cubes for Radio 1, BBC Radio 1 which at the time was, uh, you know, nothing like it had ever been done. And, um, you know, I'm saying I took the risk. Really, it was the client that took the risk because he knew that we didn't really know what we were doing, but he <laughs> went with it anyway. Um, and it ended up being a great piece of work. Um, we made it Republic um, with a really good team there, Andy Sandoz and uh, a whole load of others. Um, and yeah, so I guess that could have all gone completely tits up, um, but luckily it worked. It was a great piece of work. It spawned numerous uh, kind of copies afterwards. 
Who's the most creative person you've ever worked with? ones like you know Tony and Kim at Widens. Um, I mean a lot of basically a lot of the creatives at Widens were amazing. Um, and in other agencies I guess there's a guy called Charlie Johnson who sticks out, um, who has these alter egos that these characters that he kind of creates and performs. Uh, ben Harris is another one. He's uh, kind of got a sideline in surreal comedy. Um, James Dow, uh, Rob Ellis. There are a few. There are a few goodies from Republic days. Okay, let's move on to a quick fire round. FWA or NMA? FWA. Can Lion or DNA D pencil? Uh, DNA D. Digital design or graphic design? Uh, it should all be the same thing, it's just design. Apple or Android? Apple. Degree or no degree? Well, uh, degree. Web or mobile? Sorry? Web or mobile? Yep. Kind of becoming the same thing. Retained work or pitch work? Um, retained work. Independent agencies or networked agencies? Independent. Outsourced production or on-site production? Uh, depends what the project is. Miami Ad School or Hyper Island? Hyper Island. Watford or Bucks? Watford. And lastly, Don Draper or Roger Sterling? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I wanted to use either of those <laughs> characters, but... Um, I guess it would have to be done. Cool, thank you very much. Cheers.